Artificial Intelligence Explores the Universe with Astrophysicist Yusuke Kobayashi of Steward Observatory. Hello, and welcome back to the Cosmic Companion. I'm James Mace. This week, we discuss how artificial intelligence opens a universe of understanding of the cosmos. Later in the show, we're going to be talking with Dr. Yosok Kobayashi from the University of Arizona uh, about using AI to understand the early universe. Now, for centuries, the human mind was the only way we had to interpret images and data from telescopes. The idea of artificial intelligence goes back to at least the days of the science fiction classic Metropolis, as well as the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. That guy had heart, eventually. As science and engineering flourished in the 1950s, pioneering computer scientists, including Alan Turing, were well familiar with the concept of AI. However, computers of the age were unable to store commands, remembering tasks they completed, which is a prerequisite for artificial intelligence. Now, this term was first coined in 1956. At nearly the same time, fueled by the founding of the National Science Foundation, or NSF, in 1950, a flurry of telescope construction greatly expanded our knowledge of the cosmos. Notable milestones were reached by artificial intelligence in 1997, when Deep Blue defeated chess grandmaster Garry Kasparov, followed by a victory against Chinese Go champion KG two decades later. Today, big data, collections of information too large to be analyzed at any scale by human beings, permeates healthcare, finance, and astronomy. New and future observatories gather vast quantities of data, far more than could ever be analyzed by human researchers. Some of these new instruments carrying out full sky surveys record the entire sky every couple of days or so. Such fire hoses of information can only realistically be analyzed using digital algorithms, baiting data for further investigation by human researchers. A new emulator developed by astrophysicist Yosuke Kobayashi at the University of Arizona now provides new insights into the formation and interactions of galaxies in the early universe. Looking deep into the universe, we see backwards in time. And the oldest light in the universe holds secrets to how everything around us will, one day, end. Meanwhile, stars, planets, and galaxies dance in an intricate ballet, occasionally giving birth to life. We are a fledgling species, just beginning to visit other worlds. We are a way for the universe to understand itself. The Cosmic Companion strives to bring the universe down to Earth and we depend on your help to make it happen. For information on subscriptions and ways to donate to this program, please visit thecosmiccompanion.net. Thank you. Next up, we talk with Dr. Kobayashi about this new development in artificial intelligence for astrophysics. This week on The Cosmic Companion, we are happy to be joined by Dr. Yosuke Kobayashi. He is a astrophysicist and a postdoctoral research associate at the University of Arizona and Stewart Observatory. We're especially lucky today since this is his first ever interview in English. Welcome to the show, Joseph. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. 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 So can you tell us, um, you're, you've done some fascinating work recently using artificial intelligence to study astronomy. How can artificial intelligence be used to help us 
explore the universe. Yeah, so I'm a cosmologist, so I'm talking about only cosmology mainly. But so, uh, so the artificial intelligence uh, application uh, has been uh, recently uh, very popular uh, in the cosmology research. And generally speaking, uh, it is used to so facilitate the very uh, computationally expensive stuff. Mm. So, for example, my emulator stuff uh, is uh, to mimic the, the simulation based simulation like output, uh, simulation like quantity prediction uh, by the very the fast computation. And then for another uh, other uh, uh, example. For example, uh, it's mainly focused on uh, very uh, theoretically difficult physics, uh, such as galaxy formation and evolution. Mm -hmm. And so one example I know is to, to uh, put the, some galaxy properties on the so dark matter only simulation. So dark matter uh, is uh, very, uh, is following a very simple uh, physical uh, physics, the so gravity, but uh, the uh, the evolution of galaxies, the formation of galaxies, is uh, governed by very complicated, uh, way more complicated physics. So, uh, and it is very computationally expensive in the realistic simulation. So, uh, we can use uh, artificial intelligence, the machine learning technique, to mimic the Galaxy like properties in, in the uh, cheaper simulation and in the uh, very uh, uh, cheaper computation time. Can you tell us a little bit about your emulator, mm -hmm. please? Yeah. Uh, yeah. My emulator is basically uh, to focus on the, uh, on the fast computation, the fast and accurate computation of the uh, galaxy, the halo. Uh, galaxy and halo distribution mm -hmm. uh, on the uh, large scale structure of the universe. And more specifically, my emulator uh, can predict the uh, power spectrum, which is the uh, uh, statistics, the st statistical quantity of the spatial distribution of halo and galaxies uh, observed in the uh, large scale structure survey, uh, such as the uh, uh, galaxy survey. and. Then Sorry, <laughs> sorry, don't just leave. Okay. Sorry, you know, so. All right, it's dark, but so it's looking at the, it's computing the large scale structure of these galaxies during their formation, correct? And, um, and able to take into account the halos, for instance, is what you were saying, is that? My... Yeah, so, uh, my emulator is uh, a fast predictor of the galaxy uh, and, and uh, no, sorry, my, uh, my emulator uh, can predict the uh, uh, galaxy power spectrum, uh, which is uh, a statistical property of mm -hmm. the uh, spatial distribution of halo, the dark matter halos uh, mm -hmm. on the uh, large scale structure of the universe. And then um, we can extend uh, the halo uh, power spectral emulator uh, to predict the uh, galaxy power spectrum. Mm -hmm. So, and what is this emulator teaching us about the cosmos? What are, what are you learning from it? Uh, yeah, so, uh, so the, the galaxy distribution on the uh, large scale structure of the universe, mm -hmm. uh, uh, represent uh, some uh, fundamental quantity uh, which specifies our universe, such as the uh, the total abundance of the dark matter or matter, and or the clumpiness of the matter in the universe. So how strongly gather, uh, how strongly the matter gathers in the, in the universe, and. Wow. Such a uh, to if, to estimate to measure uh, these quantities, uh, we have to rely on uh, the Bayesian inference, uh, where 
that we have to uh, compare the theoretical prediction of the galaxy distribution with the uh, observations. Mm. And 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 to uh, do this uh, inference, uh, we have to compute the uh, theoretical galaxy power spectrum, galaxy clustering statistics, um, many many times. So typically, the uh, several uh, million times from the different uh, cosmological model. So it requires uh, some fast and accurate prediction of the galaxy power spectrum. And my emulator, uh, and the emulator that I developed uh, uh, in this work, uh, is completely applicable to this purpose. Hmm. Hmm. And so what telescopes and instruments and studies might benefit most from analysis by this emulator? Yes, since uh, the emulator uh, I developed uh, is uh, generally applicable to uh, galaxy spectroscopic survey, such as uh, DESI, the dark, uh, hmm. and dark energy spectroscopic instrument, instrument. It is mounted at the uh, Kitt Peak uh, National Laboratory. Yeah. Or about, <laughs> which is about yeah. 70 miles, uh, 70 kilometers yeah. that way. <laughs> right now, yeah. Here. Uh, or uh, uh, on the satellite mission, so there are uh, Nancy Grace Roma Space, Space Telescope, uh, mm -hmm. which is the, uh, uh, found in NASA's uh, project. And or uh, uh, in Hawaii, uh, there are Subaru uh, mm. telescopes, yeah. uh, uh, which have the uh, prime focus spectrograph. Survey to detect a uh, 3D galaxy map uh, on the large scale structure of the universe. Fabulous. And how how might this emulator and the studies it inspires grow in the future? How could it change over time? Yeah, the emulator uh, I use in this, in this work uh, is. Uh, that I may uh, I built uh, from the uh, uh, cosmological embody simulation suite, uh, named Dark Quest, the Dark Quest simulation suite, and currently Dark Quest One simulation uh, is completed, but um, and and the, and the Dark Quest simulation uh, uh, goes to the next phase. So the success of Dark Quest Two is now ongoing, mm -hmm. uh, which include uh, more uh, broader class of cosmological model. Uh, for, for example, the uh, massive neutrino impact and the impact from the uh, more uh, more about advanced model of the dark energy. Hmm. Fascinating. And finally, what is next for your research? What are you studying? What are you studying next? Yeah, uh, my uh, one of my current uh, work, as, a, as one of my current work, I'm proceeding the uh, combination of the galaxy power spectrum and uh, other observations. So, uh, for example, uh, in my work, uh, I'm I'm trying to uh, combine the galaxy power spectrum with the uh, cosmic microwave background. Do you know, mm -hmm. and, yeah. Um, by combining uh, the uh, multiple uh, cosmological observations, uh, we can uh, more strongly constrain, more strongly uh, measure the cosmological parameters, uh, and uh, it is uh, would serve to uh, more stringent test of the uh, uh, cos of a cosmological model. Fabulous. That just was that was wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time to do the to do this interview, Yosuke. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. And that was Dr. Yosuke Kobayashi 
uh, postdoctoral research associate at the University of Arizona and Stewart Observatory. While most home computer systems hold hundreds of gigabytes or a few terabytes of information, astronomers now build and continually update data collections measured in petabytes or thousands of terabytes of data. To put this in perspective, 10 petabytes of storage space could hold every feature film ever made. A hundred years of viewing time in 4K resolution. Peter Jackson, director cut, lasts longer. Now, just one observatory, the Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile, will collect about 60 petabytes of information during its 10-year lifetime. Currently, astronomers know of more than 5,000 exoplanets orbiting other stars. These are most often found by searching for tiny dips in the intensity of light produced as planet, planets pass in front of their stars as seen from Earth. Artificial intelligence is ideal for recognizing these patterns, promising a wealth of new exoplanet discoveries in the near future. Researchers in Portugal recently developed sheep, ah. a machine learning algorithm designed to classify astronomical objects into classes such as stars, galaxies, or pulsars. Next generation analysis also meets the newest field of astronomy, seeing the cosmos in gravitational waves. Gravity Spy combines AI with citizen science looking for glitches or short bursts of noise in gravitational wave detectors. A wide range of fascinating discoveries could grow out of this digital analysis. The James Webb Space Telescope as well as the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope will collect data on the chemical compositions of distant worlds. Artificial intelligence is ideally suited to analysis of this type of information. In this way, AI may be the first means by which we uncover the first concrete evidence for life in outer space. Next week on The Cosmic Companion, we're going to talk about exploring planetary oceans as we talk with Catherine Musameshe, author of Lethal Tides. We'll discuss her new book telling the story of pioneering oceanographer and feminist Mary Sears. Make sure to join us then starting on the 23rd of August. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, Follow and share The Cosmic Companion with your friends, relatives, pets, even complete strangers. Rubber duckies want to hear our show. Anyway, clear skies.